Hello and welcome back to another Meraki Minute. My name is Humphrey Chung and let's talk about locking down your local status page. So for those of you who don't know, the local status page is how you manage and configure a Meraki device if you get into a situation where you don't have DHCP and you just can't automatically have dashboard, uh, get internet access and get dashboard to configure everything. This happens in the places like a data center, in the core of a data center where you're putting in a core switch or a core firewall. So here's an example of what you will see when you go to a local status page. When you plug in an Ethernet cable to a back of an MX and you type in wired.meraki.com. Okay, so with that out of the way, you know what the local status page is. How do you lock down access or how do you keep people from getting to the local status in the first place, uh, no matter what, right? So very easy. Just log into your network, log into your organization, dashboard.meraki.com. Go to network wide and go to general. Scroll all the way down and you're going to see a section called device configuration. There's a couple settings you can change here. So first, whether you want the local status page enabled or disabled. So if you've already configured everything and you don't need to change any settings anymore, you can simply disable it. Or what you can do is leave it enabled but then change the default credentials, the default username and password. Now normally the local status page has the username set as the serial number of the Meraki device. So just looking on the back of a, of an MX or an AP or a switch or on the box itself, you'll see a Meraki serial number and the password will be blank. So that's how you get into the local status page. But of course you can change that through this menu. Another option you can set is whether you want the remote device status page to come up. Well, what the heck is that if, if you've never used it? So you can get to a Meraki device if you have this turned on, if you have this enabled, via the LAN IP address. So something like 192.168.1.1 .1 or, or whatever the IP address it has been given. And if you type that in, you will get something, you will get the local status page as well. All right, so that's how easy it is to configure and lock down the local status page. All you have to do is go in here, local device status is disabled, or you can choose to have it enabled and change the local credentials. Once again, that was a Meraki Minute. My name's Humphrey Chung. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.